Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, the health channel, and I had a pretty good sleep last night, but I don't always. And I saw in the news recently a new drug that um, is in clinical trials. It's called Suvorexanth. It sounds interesting. Um, I've been through different um, sleep aids and didn't care for them because of the grogginess and the fact that even though they knock you out when you wake up, you don't feel fully rested and there's that, that fog left over. Anyway, if you've ever tried them, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. My, um, my pill of choice to help now is something much more natural. It's melatonin and I take uh, one of these a night about an hour before I want to go to sleep and it works pretty well for me. It, um, helps to knock me out and um, if I get up during the night to go to the bathroom, when I go back to bed, I can usually go back to sleep with no problem. So I'm pretty pleased with this, but I'm um, always on the lookout for anything else that might help, you know, to help me to get a full eight hours sleep more nights of the week. And this new medicine is interesting. It's um, most of the sleep aids that you can get now is they try to give a nudge to the sleep inducing parts of the brain to say, come on, go to sleep, go to sleep. And the problem is if you still have that in your system when you wake up and it's still telling you go to sleep, go to sleep, it's very hard to wake up and you get that real groggy feeling and the fogginess and sometimes it lasts even for a few hours after you've gotten out of bed. That's why that's one of the big problems with the sleep aids. This new medication has a different way of looking at things and so rather than getting involved with the chemicals in the part of the brains that tell you go to sleep, go to sleep, it affects um, the chemicals produced in the brain that tell you stay awake, stay awake, because you've got these competing chemicals in your brain. What it does is it inhibits your brain producing this hormone called orexin, which is what goes and tells the brain stay awake, stay awake. So if you have less of that, then you're more likely to fall asleep. It's not um, a, a major knock you out, you get a good 10 hours sleep kind of medication. They found in the studies that they did that people got about a half hour more sleep when they were on the, the proper dose of this medication. But a half hour is pretty good. They said that for people who have severe insomnia, even 15 or 20 minutes makes a, a lot of difference in how they can get through the day if they can even get an extra 15 or 20 minutes of sleep. So for people who, who have it real rough in terms of not being able to good get a good night's sleep. This is a possibly a uh, very beneficial and helpful drug for them and I assume it'll be prescription so it won't be like a sleep aid that you can pick up at the drugstore but if you're having sleep problems then it's something you can ask your doctor about. It's in uh, stage three clinical trials now so if it's going to be approved it's expected to be at the um, later part of summer 2013 so you might want to keep watching the news for that if, um, if you have those sorts of sleep issues and you need something to get you that extra half hour a night. Otherwise, melatonin um, is a good option for a lot of people. It doesn't seem to have an effect, the same effect on everyone, but it's something you can look into if you're having sleep issues. In my case, the melatonin is good. It, it works for me. That's the, the main reason it's good, but also because of medication that I'm on that reduces the amount of melatonin I naturally have in my body, it just makes sense that that can certainly be part of why I have trouble sleeping at night. Also, um, as you age, your body produces less melatonin, so really it makes sense that adding some more back in is sort of just putting the proper balance back. So by taking the melatonin, I'm actually putting things back to how they should be, not putting in some foreign substance that's messing things up. At least that's how I view it, and it works for me. So um, melatonin's good in the meantime. If you want to check up on this, I'll uh, put a link to a good brand on Amazon down here in the description below the video. But keep your eyes open for this other medication coming out, um, possibly the end of next summer, Suvorexant.